My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. It's been a bit, a sickness and a holiday. Welcome back, everyone. Zach, Jake. It's been a bit, a sickness and a holiday, but now we're back from Holly Bulbs, bringing it to you on BBC Crickets. Was that good? If you were going for like a mumbling <laughs> guy. <Go on. laughs> if you got lost on YouTube... And there was like a bad BBC page that popped up and you heard that for a second. You could have thought that was real. Like right? a local town of 400 people's public <laughs> a- access C-SPAN. <laughs> anyway, what's going on in the sports? Jim, baseball. It's baseball season. It's the season of the sticks. And Tommy Pham starts a fight, which this happens every year. His quotes are electric. Brewers Fight Club, dude. Milwaukee, they've now cleared the benches five times this year. Against five different teams. Yes. Pat Murphy. That's why. When you're... What impression was that? Uh, Big Burly Pat Murphy. Big Burly Pat Murphy. That's the next show on BBC. Uh, Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Anyway, yeah. I mean, Pat Murphy give the identity of the club now. Right. Greg Council wasn't starting any fights. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all he said. Murph dog. And it's been awesome. Like, I like that they've leaned in. No. This is who we are. Every day, this is what we're doing. Your team could be next. I have a... An asterisk, though. I, I don't like how this one started. I don't like that like, Contreras fine. was like in Fam's face, right. waving the, oh, gotcha. Like, I like them being tough and t- teams get frustrated with them and they don't back down. I don't like them instigating it out of pettiness. I said this on Talking Baseball. The only thing they're missing right now, trade for Tommy Fam Because Tommy yeah. Fam says he finishes fights. So you've got... You've got all the guys that start fights, bring in the finisher. And he's always ready to fuck you up. That's what he says. He said, what a quote by Tommy Pham. That's why I do all the fighting I do in right. the off season, like practicing jujitsu and stuff, because he's always ready to fuck someone up. There's a reason why, you know, I do all kinds of fighting in the off season, because I'm prepared to fuck somebody up. And then he leaves the interview. I like that there's a scrum in front of his locker. He, he drops the mic yeah. and is like, there will be no follow-ups to that, and, and walks out of the scene when he leaves his house in the morning and when i leave my house yeah i think it's very different energy yeah it'd be a good split screen of you am i ready to fight and i'm i'm not ready to no i'm ready to die (laughs) no yeah i'm ready to die I'll save you a couple minutes. Jim, this is almost a breakdown. We like this amazing baseball moment it comes from indiana high school there was a no hitter on the line in a one nothing game. one nothing playoff game. Two outs. Two outs. Ninth inning. Seventh, but they're ninth inning. Yeah, they're ninth inning. For all the people at home, they don't know. So, last inning. Over the fence, tying yeah. home run. I think his name is Nick Hero, but they replaced the H with an F. <laughs> Robs it. His name is Nick Farrow. His name's Nick Firo. Because he's the hero of the match. That's such a good newspaper headline. Hero Firo. Firo the hero. That had to be what Frogs they used. go to championship game. Do you think it's rude of him to hog the spotlight from the pitcher who threw the no-hitter? Don't know his name. Ty Anderson. I knew it. No, because Ty Anderson's definitely thrown no-hitters before. If he's oh. throwing a no-hitter in the playoff game, like he's got a no-hitter against one of the local schools that's ass. I think the opposing team's pitcher said he only allowed one run. Maybe he only right. allowed one hit. It was a homer. Didn't get robbed. Center fielder on that team, Nick Zero, missed it. More sports, please. Brought to you by Shady Rise. Oh, yeah, that's why I've been wearing them. I love wearing my Shady Rise. I walked 20 blocks of Manhattan yesterday with those on. I felt invincible. Jim, in the more sports, we had your favorite caddy have to leave with an injury. And then we have Joe Cool picked from the stands to round off the caddy duties. Moment of just quick appreciation of the caddy that got hurt in this picture of him. Because that's your caddy's caddy. The bag's heavier than him. Yeah. The mustache is heavier than him. But you know he goes. He can't stop. He can't stop. He's, he hasn't been tired. I don't know if I'm if I'm paid a ticket to enjoy the golf. Right. And the guy picks me out of the crowd. He's like, you want a caddy? I think I'm, yeah. Oh. I want to watch yeah. all the golf. No, and my good. guy. That's a big dude. Right. Now he's walking. Caddy. I got sweaty. Obviously, there's certain people that would jump at the opportunity. I'd love to. Not sports. The not sports is a sensitive Topic. No jokes. I half did research on this one. Okay. South Korea sent a bunch of pamphlets into North Korea. Try to enlighten the people, maybe. This place stinks. Other places exist. North Korea was like, oh, we'll send stuff your way. They filled balloons. They filled bags of garbage. <laughs> Animal poop. Feces. is a, Whenever they use feces in an article, it's like, oh, damn. Some human poop. We know. Yeah. You know, they just sent them over the border. Yeah. So then in South Korea... Raining shit yeah. on them for all the things that North Korea could potentially do to retaliate. Not bad, 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 
kind of funny. No jokes. No jokes. I like that they had to read the wind. Right. Like they prep this. Got to wait for the, the wind's right going day. the wrong way. You know, you want a strong breeze. You're sending shit up into the sky. You do not want that to come back on your own people. I mentioned how, or you do, and you just say that was also from South Korea. I'm worried if this is your starting place. Yep. Because these two have a little bit of history. Oh yeah. From what I know, that this is a blip. Yeah. And like, yes, you're right. Did the South Korea officials at one point go? That's kind of good. Yes, they did. War rages on. It's the employee of the week. It's, it's the employee, employee of, of the week. Three weeks? It's been a minute. It's been in three weeks. Uh, Trev's here. Uh, He's a new I face. I was worried you were going to say that. Who do you got? Zach? Zach's added. He was the employee of the month. Zach's added of our Times Square visit. It was really well done. Zach can Woo! get employee of the month. Okay. That's fair. Maybe for employee of the week, because we have a sign outside our office, maybe we could show that. Maybe we just put in there, like, someone earn it. Ooh. You know? Ooh, yeah. It's been three weeks. We don't recall anything. Someone earn it. Someone earn it. No one stood Zach out. Zach really <laughs> likes that. But no one stood out. <laughs> That's a little tough. Well, do that, I mean, do I that like as that. an acronym, no so, and then put earn it underneath. Got it? <laughs> I'll tell Sam. Oh, oh delegating. That's smart. Month. Employee of the month, Sam. Smart. Shop at johnboymedia.com. That was a weekly dumb. Get ready for the season ahead with quality shades built to last. Our friends at Shady Rays have you covered with premium polarized shades that won't break the bank. If your shades ever go missing or take an unexpected hit, don't sweat it. They have the most insane protection in all of eyewear. Every pair is backed by lost or broken replacements. Use code DUMB for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. And that offer applies to the custom Jimmy and Jake collab shades. So go get yours now. Thick fan rent a caddy for three holes. Nice neighbor. North Korea, not viewed in the same light. I'm surprised I haven't seen more of this happening. You know, just like you don't like your neighbor. Right. Send a bag of shit into the sky. You're surprised you don't see more of that. It feels like good, wholesome warfare. In a way, it's not. In a way, it's not. Could be bombs. It really goes over a line. Yeah, but like, nice to have a starting place that isn't, not causing injuries. 